Good morning, KG2. How are you? I hope you are fine. Let's start our lesson today. Today, we're going to read the comprehension. But this time, the comprehension is different. Because you are not going to read and answer the questions only. This time, you are going to read the sentence and then color the picture. Let's start. Before we read the sentences, I want you to look at the picture. What can you see? What can you see in the picture? Yes, I can hear you. There is a sun. We can see the sun. Very good. What do you think? What is the color of the sun? Is it orange? Is it green or yellow? Yes, it's yellow. Very good. What else can you see in the picture? Excellent. Someone said a tree. Very good. A tree. We can see the tree. And what else? Yes, sheep. We can see the sheep. Okay, now let's read the sentences to start coloring the, the picture. The first sentence. Can you read the first word? It's a tricky word. Do you remember it? Very good. The. The sun is bright and yellow. One more time. The sun is bright and yellow. So, as you said, what is the color of the sun? Yellow. Now, you are going to color the sun in yellow color. Next sentence. Again, it starts with the tricky word. The sun has orange rays. Look at the sun. Can you see the rays? Yes. There are a lot of rays. And the color of the rays are orange. Well done, KG2. So now with your orange color, you are going to color the rays. Sentence number three. The sheep has black legs. Wow! The sheep has black legs. Yes, so you are going to bring your black color and color only the legs. Okay, sentence number four. The fields are light green and dark green. KG2, do you know what are the fields? The fields are the green places you can see, like in the farm. So in this picture, can you see the fields? Yes. Can you point to the fields? Very good. Now you're going to take your light green and dark green and color them. The last sentence. Who's going to read with me? Let's start. The sheep has white wool. The sheep has white wool. Very good. Now, are we going to color the sheep? Yes, because it's already white. And you know what? The sheep is covered with wool. You know the wool. Yes, exactly, KG2. We take the wool and we make the clothes we can wear in winter to give us warm. Okay, KG2. I hope you enjoyed our comprehension this week. See you soon. Good morning, KG2. How are you? I missed you, my lovely children. Today, 
our lesson is writing a composition. If you have the paper, bring your paper and let's start. Look at the picture, KG2. What can you see? What do you see here in this place? Excellent! There are some animals. Can you tell me what are the animals? Like what? Very good! We can see hens. Some hens are there. Can you count them? Point to the hens and count. One, two, three. Excellent! There are three hens. What else do you see? Yes, there is a rooster. Can you see the rooster? Very good. The rooster is here on the left. What else? There is one cat. Can you find the cat? Quickly, can you find the cat? Excellent, it's there. What is the color of that cat? It is gray. Nice. Now, there is another animal on your left. Can you see it? Its color is white. Very good. I, I can hear you. A horse. There is a white horse. And there is another animal on your right side. Can you see it? Do you know what is this animal? It is a turkey. Excellent, KG2. Now, what are the children doing here? This boy and this girl are feeding the chicks. Excellent. Do you know the chicks? The babies. Can you count how many chicks here? Let's point to the chicks and count. One, two, three, four, and five. Five chicks. And look there. Also, there are some children are looking at them. KG2, I want you to think. What do you think this place is? Is it a garden? Is it a zoo? Or it's a farm? Excellent! I can hear you. It is a farm. Now, I want you to look again to the picture and start writing the sentences. I want you to write four sentences about the farm. Anything you can see here in the farm, write it down. Four sentences or more, as you like. But don't forget, KG2, we have to start the sentence with what? Very good, capital letter. And we should leave spaces between the words. Then at the end, at the end of the sentence, what comes at the end? Full stop. Excellent. I know you are excellent and you are going to write all the sentences correctly. Thank you, KG2. See you soon.